Thank you, Jerry Smile! Okay, we're reviewing my first ever Fungo Fungo Pop. Pop. Welcome to the channel! Okay guys, and so uh, so this is the second pop we've ever done. This is pop movies, and I don't know if pop movies is different than the regular pops. This is 1019. Um, the pop movies, I think they're just Funko Pops based off the movies. Probably, but I, so 1019 seems low to me. I'm really kind of surprised that there's not more uh, Funko Pops than this. So 1019 seems like a really low number to me, but... Uh, you can see this is off the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie. And there you can see the very, uh, <laughs> very modified Mecha Godzilla from some of the Spoiler! earlier, earlier uh, versions of him. Spoiler! And he is from the Godzilla vs. Kong. We'll let you spoil the movie in a second, buddy. This is the Godzilla vs. Kong movie versus. So this is from the MonsterVerse, and also in this line is a 10-inch Godzilla. Oh, so actually, this is only, this is a like a four, six inch, four inch, something like that. There's actually a 10-inch version of Godzilla in this, so it's like a super pop. Uh, so 10-inch Godzilla, 10-inch Kong, and we have regular Godzilla. We have Heat Ray I'm puking all over the ground Godzilla. <laughs> Mecha Godzilla, which is what we have in front of us, Battle Scarred Kong, Kong with the Axe, and Battle Ready Kong. The Kongs, I don't like at all. Uh, but, okay, so, yeah, so there, guys, there is another pop we've done. It is the Kool Aid Man that is in my office collection uh, playlist if you want to see it. And let's take a look at what we have here. There are other Funkos. In fact, there is a Funko playlist, I believe. So you guys can take a look at that. So we don't do a lot of these because these are basically just display figures. There is zero articulation here, like none. There, There is no no articulation. I've here. been waiting to do that. So you can see he is awesome. He's definitely the very, so I don't understand. Okay, so they're making a robot to fight Godzilla. Except and that robot runs on King Ghidorah's skull. Yes, yes, it is. It is borrowing a huge page from Transformers Age of Extinction, uh, the movie. Yes. So, with this one, though... Oh, look, some of the paint's actually coming off. What is... Oh, no, it's not. It's just on that side. So, okay, so why would they build this this triple spine? Like, what is the point of that? Uh, Godzilla if you, if you, has a triple spine. Yeah, but you're, you're, fight, you're facing a guy strictly to fight Godzilla... Why are you also imitating Godzilla? Like, what is the point of this triple spine? I don't understand this. Like, this one, the tail spike, fine, whatever. That part's cool. But what is... Why? <laughs> why are they doing that? I don't get it. Like, that part is so weird to me. Uh, King Kong obviously doesn't have that either. You know, and he's... The King Kong story is, is a little bit funky uh, in, in that movie also as well, but... So there's um, there's some there's some okay battles, you know. I get it that they have to do some, they have to let Kong win some for the King Kong fans. They have, they have to let Godzilla, Godzilla, know, Godzilla wins. yeah, Godzilla, go, go, wins. Godzilla. There you go. So Godzilla has to be, you know, the the stomper, right? But but this thing, anyway, this thing they built this really OP thing to basically just fight Godzilla. And then, of course, Ghidorah winds up taking him over, like Megatron took over Galvatron, and then he winds up fighting Godzilla. So, the whole point of Ghidorah taking over to fight Godzilla when they built this thing to fight Godzilla is a little uh, odd to me. Same thing, though, in, in Age of Extinction, right? KSI built Galvatron to go fight... Well, actually, there was other uses, too, but they fought it primarily to get the rest of the Autobots, like... Optimus, right? So they got to fight Optimus. And then Megatron took it over to fight Optimus. <laughs> and 
And also the bubble thing went away for the fifth transform. You know what? I don't know. I'm getting way off track here, thing? guys. Remember when they turned into a bubble like Stinger? They turned into those little bubbles when they transformed. Yeah. yeah. And they, they just didn't do it at all in the fifth movie. It has nothing to do with this figure, guys. But you get to hear about it anyway because um, we are just rambling all over the place. So anyway. All over the place. Anyway, anyway, let's get off the Transformers for a second. But he's got these cool mouth things. Actually, we got a... Guys, uh, this... I don't remember this in the movie. This is really neat, though. I, li I like these little wheel things. He's got, like, grinder things. Like, they made this guy... They made him to be just like an OP thing. Like, they made him to be really, really nasty. But he has this kind of shocked lizard expression on his face on the box. Like, what? Also has Did you call me? What? Hello. 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 You can see his. He looks like a lot more menacing in in the real thing, but on the box, it's like, oh. <laughs> can I help you? <laughs> Wait, I think I left my car keys in a ditch. So many questions. So many questions. Ooh. So this one, guys. Bye -bye. We happen to be we happen to be at the model shop, and Leo saw this one and was uh, all over this idea like stink on poo poo. But so yeah, it's. Uh, I'm it, going to bed now. You know, it's kind of cool. We don't have any of the Funko in the Godzilla collection, so it's kind of neat to have that too, I guess. But I don't know, like like these things. Like I said, most of the time these things are not playable toys. They're just static display pieces. Like this. And now he's in his box. <laughs> there you go. Here's your blanket. Tuck yourself in. That box is very nice. I'll have me you know. It is very nice. You'll have me know. So, yeah, I mean, he's he's, he's cool. There, there's a lot of really good detailing on it. He's going to sleep in his own blankets. I see that. And it opens like a cryo chamber. I think that, wouldn't that be his mattress and then the box is his blanket? Think about that. <laughs> mm, guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if there's comments built. <laughs> but he's he he kind of there's these deformed um, Godzilla figures too. He kind of reminds me of those. But like that's the other thing too. The pops, like Demonzilla. Well, there there's just different ones. But <laughs> like the pops are are just kind of weird to me in that they do that. They deform all the characters and they make them this really kind of stylized. You know, for me, kind of a weird thing. So, I'm not a super huge fan of the pop look, but this one is kind of cool. I just, you know, it got me thinking about Mecha Godzilla and, and exactly why he has the triple spines. Like, I don't understand that. Even the name Mecha Godzilla. Well, Mecha Godzilla makes sense because he's supposed to be a mechanical Godzilla, like a, a robot Godzilla, which is basically what that is. Yeah, sense of flight Godzilla. So why would they imitate Godzilla if it's sent to fight Godzilla? I don't know. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, they could just make that thing without the tails. Like, I don't understand the function of the tail spines. Like, Godzilla is cool, right? Because he's he's got some stuff on jump on his back, I guess, or something. It's like a natural thing. but And I guess maybe that's why they have those there, too. I, I suppose. To not have them jump on their back. But, like, the metal things, you could just grab one of them. Do, 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 climbing that really guy, big monkey ball. That guy, that guy had a nasty laser for a weapon, guys. So, uh, I mean that the Godzilla movies and the MonsterVerse are all kind of the same to me. And that I think you can largely skip everything and just fast forward to all the fights, and you're fine. <laughs> like especially the last one, the first Godzilla and Godzilla versus Kong. I think I think that might be the best way to enjoy those. Actually, is to fast forward them. To when they're fighting and who cares about the humans and just watch two monsters going at it toe to toe duking it out for your entertainment so but yeah there he is the godzilla versus kong mecha godzilla there's only one of them it is a thousand nineteen again i don't know if that's just for pop movies or because i like there's to me it seems like there's probably like like another 10,000 more. It's like 11,000 pops. There's so many pops out there. I just, I, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, like, I think you could actually build a wall of your house if you just had all the pops that ever existed. But, 
And I'm sure somebody's got a video channel with every single pop that ever existed too, but not us. This is only our second one and the first ever for the start of the channel. So there you guys go. It is the Funko Pop Movies Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. Can you leave a comment saying what uh, exactly he's doing? You know, okay, so here's the other thing too. Kong, like it, so versus Kong, usually you put the champion second, right? So I don't know what Godzilla was trying to, you know, what, what King Kong was trying to defend Godzilla from. Because Co King Kong was the aggressor here. He was going after Godzilla, so it probably should have been Kong versus Godzilla. Uh, I think maybe I'm reading too much into all that, though. So might be a good time to quit the video. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy uh, all of our Imagine questions. Imagine how giant those spikes would be, and you're just climbing. It'd yeah. take you, like, 50 whole years to get you up could, to You could rock climb those babies. But, uh, guys, if you did enjoy our look at this, please give us a thumbs up, guys. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not done so already, guys, blue bell and comments if they are available. Guys, whether they are not, please come follow us on Twitter. Where I've the channel of everyone myself, there's Twitter exclusive content as well, including display shots. So we do a display shot with this guy. It will be on Twitter. If you use Twitter, please come follow us there. We would love to have you. But there it is, guys. One last look at Mecha Godzilla, who's now taking a nap and spinning around and just kind of doing things. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.